Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Sunday, June 6, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. You can see our subscription service there and you can see our disclaimer and our honor roll and top 10 of the year rankings by uh, Timer Digest. And uh, speaking of that, I want to thank you guys for patronizing the channel, hitting the subscribe button, the reminder bell, and the like button down there. And if you don't know what it looks like, that's a big version of it there. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff. We have uh, a critical week coming up, a lot going on in the market. We're going to talk about the NASDAQ, the S&P, Tesla. I want to touch base with gold, uh, GameStop, and uh, Bitcoin today. A lot to cover, so uh, let's get into it. Let's start with the NASDAQ because it's been in a bear market uh, longer and topped earlier than the other indexes. You can see the high here is April 29 and we have five waves down and we have a retracement up. Right now it's sitting between the 618. The 786 lies just above at 13,954. Okay, we want to look at, uh, I'll just show you guys a picture here because um, this says it all. Okay, here. There's our all-time high. On uh, April 29, you can see five waves down here for an A wave, and you can see three waves up for a B wave. It's interesting. Look at this um, Fibonacci time spiral here. You can see it's it's hit with virtually no slippage. This is a slippage here. Five four was the first turn date. Fibonacci five days later, direct hit. The next one five seven on a high, direct hit. The next one five twelve on a low, direct hit. The next one was 520 May 20th there was a low on the 19th and a high on the 21st so it missed by a day one way or another uh, one day with the low um, it's plus one day on one way minus one day on the other way either way it's a day slippage and then we had a 6-2 turn date June 2nd and so far the market has topped in the B wave on June 1st we want to allow you can see right up here that the 786 retracement is at 13,954. It could possibly, even as early as Monday on the 7th, make that higher B wave high on the Fibonacci 786 retracement level. If so, instead of this being off of a slippage of minus one day, it would be five days from 6.2 to 6.7. But the key here is 55 days from the all time high. As long as the all time high is not breaking, it should mark a low. It should mark a wave C low with a plus or minus uh, one or two days either way on the 23rd. And it's possible a panic spike low as it is 55 days from the all time high. It's not required. It's possible, but it should mark a low as long as the April 29 all time high holds. So that's the analysis of the NASDAQ there. Thought that picture would do a little more justice. We're going to look at the S&P on an hourly chart. You can see the top here was on May 7th, and we have a five-wave decline and a B-wave up here. And that was close to the turn date there on June 1st. By the way, I wanted to. This is interesting that the all-time high was 42.38. The high here on our turn date was 42.34. And the high on Friday was 42.33. Definitely resistance there. We'll see how that plays out. But if this is A or 1 down and this is B or 2 up, then 3 or C gains equality with 1 at 40.51. And let me see if I can get the 1618 in there at 39.38. I want to get into a little pick on that if I have that here from the 66 high here we go with the all-time high on May 7th and you can see the Fibonacci time spiral here first date in the sequence 512 direct hit slippage of none okay then we've got the 514 uh, that happened on a Saturday so it did the best it could with the next trading day so there was no slippage because it couldn't top on a Saturday when it's not open the next one again this is at 519 we had a low and a high a day either way so it was off by a day and the next one was a 528 and to date the market has topped 
on June 1st, which is one trading day. That's what the TD is after the 528 high. Also got a little asterisk here. Note for a side note, there was a lunar eclipse two days before that turn date. And the next turn date in the sequence is June 10th. And there's a solar eclipse on that day. Will that mark a low or will it make a higher high? It's so tight, you know, it bears watching. But you can see here, if uh, this is A down on May 12th, and this is B up on June 1, we look at uh, C down, C equals A at 40.51 and a 1.618 Fibonacci multiple at 39.38. And again, uh, not again, but to reiterate, the 55-day um, Turn date on this index is July 1st. Again, that should mark a low. It's possible panic. Spike low, we'll see. I think I got to want to look at this a little bit closer. I thought I had the S&P. Let me look at it here, there, there. That's okay. We'll, we'll let that go, but uh, interesting to see. Let me see if I can get down into a little five minute of this uh, S&P here. Okay, we'll leave that go. Let me go back to the hourly. Let's look at Tesla here. Uh, Tesla, the all-time high. By the way, Tesla topped in January. Uh, the indexes are topping months later. But uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, the, if the indexes go into a bear market or correct 10 20%, the individual stocks will correct much more than the indexes. And Tesla is showing the way here with five waves down into that March low at 539 and then an ABC up three ways up and a counter trend bounce which was a high of 780 on April 14th and you can see it's moving down there in five waves from that B wave high and you can see the primary count I have here in black okay that's five ways down with a move up and an alternate I put in in red which is this would be one, two, and third wave extended down here, and this is a four. Either way, of this decline here, we have a Fibonacci 382 exact retracement into the May 28th high. To uh, review this A down, B up, C gains equality with A around 420. I might not have that right on the exact highs and lows, but it should go below the A wave low at 539 at a minimum equality here at 420 and the 1618 is at 197. I think I'm going to look at this a little closer from I think I have it here on the on this high of May 28. Let's see if we've got that. Yeah there's that May 28 and as you can see this is breaking down in five waves to the downside. One, two, three, four, five. Why did that go away? There it is. Okay, you can see this move up here. Uh, this is hanging out between the 382 and the 500. The three, well, we already passed the 382. The 500 is 603. And you can see our other retracement levels are 611 and 621. So we might expect this second wave up within this first wave down to go higher, which would bring our our next target in from there. So we'll have to watch uh, Tesla there in the near term. This is a 10 minute chart. And uh, this high here was on May 28th. And this low here was on June 3rd. Of course, a break of this low and we're off to the races to the downside. I want to look at gold. This is a daily chart of gold from the high in August. We were looking for an A down, a a B up and a C down. As we said, when this started unfolding, this looks corrective, not impulsive, meaning the main trend is still up. And this is just a correction to the downside. We're looking for our move to our target here at 647. It fell short and then it started moving up in impulsive waves. So it's safe to say that this decline is complete and fell short of target, which signals the strength of the move up and the weakness of the correction. And you can see we've got the five waves up out here. I got to move that a little bit there and move this a little bit here. And there we go. And the Fibonacci 382 retracement is 1826. And that would be ideal because it falls within the fourth wave of a previous degree right in here. Okay, the uh, 
Fibonacci 50% is 1798 and the 618 Fibonacci retracement is 1769. Let's look at GameStop. This is a interesting chart. Here we go. Um, we've had a make or break of 11690 for a while. That's a wave too low. We could call this two over here, but this is a series of ones and twos at varying degrees of trend. We have a one up, a two down, three here gains equality with one at 423 and a 1.618 at 612, almost 613. And you can see within this this third wave, third wave, we have one up, a two down, a three up, and a four down. And we have another make or break for this internal count of the wave one high. Four should not break below the wave one high. I've got it marked there at 189. So we're looking at this thing to uh, continue as long as that wave one high of 189 holds. We're looking for a move to 423, which would be near a double top from back in January where they illegally halted buying of GameStop to artificially make it go down. But uh, again, reiterate, they can't they can't stop Elliott Waves and Fibonacci's. All they did was delay the inevitable. Long as these make or breaks hold, this should go to higher highs. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. What do we have with Bitcoin here? And you can see everything counting from the March lows. We have a five wave pattern to the upside. You can see within these waves, we have fives uh, up again to show the main direction of the trend. There's a one, a two, I don't have it labeled, a three, a four, and a five for three. The same with wave five. We have an ABC correction here for the second wave. It falls comfortably between the 50% retracement at 34, 446 and the 618 at 27, 255. We could allow, well, let's look at this ABC. Let's do this first. Our target for three gaining equality with one is 90 with a comma, 9112, 90,912. And the 1618 is 125,000. Yeah, to 128,516. So many numbers, I can't even keep them straight. But let's see what this ABC correction does here. See if we can get a Fibonacci extension on that. And uh, see where C is in relation to A, if I can get that on there. And there's the B wave high. And you can see it's, uh, it's perfect. So that's a very nice place for that to uh, terminate. We'll have to watch this internal wave count to see if it wants to go any further. But again, I gave you guys those uh, parameters. So that's what we're looking at there for Bitcoin. Let's do a little review. I wanted to show you guys um, this Fibonacci time spiral on the S&P from the March 4 low. This turned on, on every turn date. Again, you can see the slippage here is none. We've got one minute on one of these. Uh, at the uh, high on uh, 429 and the next one was 61 and that one hit and then we had the um, retracements there so uh, this one won't play out 144 it'll get later in July it's a little bit far off for that but the uh, the S&P turned on these Fibonacci turn dates to perfection so uh, that one I wanted to show you guys there's actually three different Fibonacci time spirals for the S&P. Did we do, oh, I wanted to review Tesla too, okay, because uh, we want this confirmation. This is a couple days old on June 2nd from last week, <clears throat> but we want I wanted to uh, confirm with you guys or reiterate that uh, the confirmation of wave three down comes into play with a move below this wave one low at 546, okay? Here's our C equals A at 418, and there's those higher retracement levels. So far, so good with Tesla. You can see all of our uh, our A up, B down, and C, I'm sorry, A down, B up, and C down targets over there. Let's see if we have anything else we wanted to show you guys before we bid adieu. I think we did that just to make sure. Here we're looking at those dates there and the wave C targets. And last but not least, we will look at the NASDAQ. We're looking at a low on 623. We'll see if this 
B wave goes up to the Fibonacci 786 early this week. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys again. And until next time, take care, everyone.